Hello there, everybody! I'm Mr. Game Pie. Last time on Banjo Tooie, we actually started up the second world and got a couple jiggies as well as did a very, very difficult one involving first person shooter mechanics. This time, well, we'll be getting more jiggies. Okay, the generator cavern. This is another one that that uh, kind of gave me a hard time. Once again, it's dark in the room and you have to light it up. Except this time you have to use... You're actually supposed to use fire eggs to light up the room. By uh, putting it in... By putting the fire eggs in these little generators over here. Which will light up the area for a short period of time. These areas are even more windy than the previous ones. And so... Well, considering you have to use fire eggs to light up the area anyway, I would just suggest doing it the way that they uh, expect you to do it. I mean, it's not like the previous one where they expected you to use a, a move from the from a future world to get it. So you should have fire eggs. They're right outside the world entrance. Oh, and I missed. And I missed again. There we go. Here we go. Now this one, I, I don't actually know what this one lights up. Let's see what it lights up. Nothing of significance. Grab your jiggy and move on! Okay. And I believe this is the exit to the area. Yeah, if you didn't go the way that I did, this is the way that you would enter those caverns. Of course, if you entered this way, there would be various rocks in the way that would prevent you from actually getting very far in the caverns. But still, just for future reference. Oh, another Jinjo! Ah, another brown one. So, I believe it's about time that I went to Mumbo's and got Mumbo to help us out with a few things. So, we already have our Globo because I grabbed that uh, at some point during the previous episode. Absolutely. All right. So, like I said earlier, um, Mumbo's spell in this area is the Levitate spell, and we'll be using it for a few things. First of all, outside the crushing shed. So we have this. Mumbo's levitate spell is, in fact, green. Quite nice. Now you can do this jiggy in either order. You can have Mumbo levitate it into the shed and then press the button later, or you can press the button and then have Mumbo levitate it into the shed. The way that I did it, well, I already have the shed going, so it's good. Onward, Rock, to your destiny! There it goes! Getting all grinded up! And now we get our jiggy, sort of. It's, well, the jiggy has also been grinded up. So we need to grab the different pieces. Not too hard. Also, oh, Mumbo zap stick in action, and the final piece. So 
So, we got that done. Uh, near the train station is the next place that we need Mumbo, and I believe the last place that we need Mumbo. We have some enemies that we haven't seen yet around here. They're like little shovels and stuff. Quite annoying. They're rather speedy. This puts Chuffy the Train back on its tracks. This is incredibly important for many Jiggies in the game. Only one Jiggy for Glurgle's mind, but um, still, there will be more. There will be more. Well, that's that. Uh, let's get some more... I need more fire eggs, don't I? Oh, and I grabbed it right before it was fire. Oh, well. I'll get more fire eggs later. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Uh, back to Mumbo's skull. We don't need him anymore. Next up, I'm gonna go over to Wumba's Wigwam. And uh, get the transformation for the area. There are a variety of things we can do as the transformation. At least three things. But it is quite the dangerous transformation that we have in this world. Now, I don't actually have the teleportation pad to Wumba's Wigwam open, but fortunately, the world entrance is very close to it. <laughs> Gotta grab our Globo, of course. <laughs> the warp pad is actually inside Wumba's Wigwam this time. Um, I think that's the only time it happens, but I might be wrong about that. And our transformation is... EXPLOSIONS! Heck yeah. We are going to explode! Except that damages us. So it don't do that too much. <laughs> Now then, that, this is how you use these things right here. If I can get on it. There we go. You activate the TNT and it blows up. There are three TNTs to activate. Uh, I'm not going to be going into this room quite yet. I'll do that a little bit later. The next TNT that I'm going to activate will give us a Jinjo. In my game, it happens to be the White Jinjo. But um, in, if you play the game, it, it'll probably be some other color. I mean, there is a chance that yours will also be the white Jinjo, but I've I've had it be other Jinjo colors in previous files. Help. There we go. Blowing up that. It's very hard to actually get the Jinjo in here with the transformation itself, but this is the white Jinjo. I'm going to try. Yeah. The reason why it's so hard, of course, is because yeah. getting through the door is difficult. Alright, so because we have completed our first color, we get to see this little cutscene. This doesn't happen every time you complete a color, just the first time you do. Alright, now this is something that I'd like to mention. In the original game, the way that you got Jiggies, the 10 Jiggies of the hub world, was um, yeah. you would find witch switches and that would activate the Jiggies in the hub world. Well, in this game, uh, your first Jiggy is given to you by Jingling, and then the other 9 Jiggies of the hub world are obtained through Jinjos. Oh, and I'm not quite on the pad enough. The controls for this little dude are very hard to get the hang of. Um, I think that the closest one to where I want to go is actually the world entrance. Here we go. Funny thing is that you can actually jump mid-air with the uh, 
platform because it oh, it's always jumping to move around. It's always fun to do. All right, so our little flying saucer buddy needs to get out. Let's help him out with that. You would think that one of those rocks would break the guy, considering how far they flew, but no. So there he goes. He's gonna finally exit the cave. And he stopped. Why did you stop, buddy? What is wrong? What is your malfunction? Oh no! The door isn't open! Oh, of course, the reason why we can't go through is because the magic won't work anymore. That's another difference. In the original game, if you ran out of Mumbo's magic, it would just detransform you. In this game, you're just outright not allowed to go to places where um, the magic would wear off if you're currently in a transformed state. Yeah. Um, okay. So, that's it for this transformation. Yeah. We're nearly done with the area for now. However, there he is... Still two more Jiggies that we can get, I believe. Technically three, actually. But that'll involve backtracking to a previous area. Whee! Onward! So, first thing that we're gonna do now is go into here. The first area that we used our TNT for to blow up. This is the Canary Cave, the other gas area. <laughs> wow. The sad part is, is that I hear that this is something that they actually did. Probably not with people, but with animals and stuff. At least I hope not. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna regret this, but here we go. Uh huh. I'm so going to regret this. So, so, so going to regret this. Oh my gosh, there she goes. Flying about in her canary way. Oh, there's a little minecart there. Well, time for us to get out. Because uh, it's not exactly safe for us to hang around here. In toxic gas. First, I would like more fire eggs. That's still only half the fire eggs I could potentially have. Ah, darn it, I picked it up too early again. This is breakable, yeah, but it's feathers. Alright. Okay, folks, time for something incredibly annoying. Are you ready for something incredibly annoying? I hope you are! This is Canary Mary. She is incredibly annoying. Exceedingly annoying. Excessively annoying, even. There are so many E words to describe her annoyingness, it's unbelievable. Yeah, sounds like fun. Tap X as fast as you can! Alright, I'm not any good at button mashing. 
Here we go. All right, now this first race is not too hard. I can just power through it. In fact, uh, the next race isn't too hard either. But you'll see later in the game. You'll see. See, I'm not even like trying too hard right now, and I'm getting through here pretty good. Yeah, I'm completely blowing her away in the dust. Now, if you get if she does pass you and she goes too far ahead, she'll actually call off the race saying that you're oh, I forgot about that Jinjo. I'll have to go grab grab that later. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, if she gets too far ahead of you, she'll say that you're doing too well. I mean that you're not doing well enough and she'll call off the race. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Yep. It's been... That Jiggy there has been under her wing for days. And yet she didn't give it to us for freeing her? What a jerk! Alright. Things get a little bit harder here. Where we have to race her a second time. This time she's gonna be faster. Now an important thing to note is that she only speeds up whenever you've actually passed her. And then she'll, well, continue speeding up. It's not too obvious right now, because she just doesn't go very fast. But like I said, later on in the game, later on, things do not end well. And this is literally as fast as I can press it right now. There's some people who can, like, whip around this place all fast, all crazy. I am not one of those people because I cannot press buttons fast enough. And that sounded exceedingly dramatic. But that's what happens if you're trying to talk while pressing a button extremely fast. Which for me isn't all that fast, actually. So yeah, there we go. I simply overpowered her with those races. Alright, so we get our Cheeto page. Oh yes, we will. Yes, we will, and that is when I will regret free. You will be the bane of my existence. Alright, two Cheeto pages now. So, um, I'm gonna grab that Jinjo that we saw during the race, and then get what I'm pretty sure is the last Jiggy we can get for right now. Oh. Let's see here. I believe that the Jinjo is up here. Well, I hear it whistling at me, so I'd have to assume so. Yep. One out of the two orange Jinjos. Oh, wow. I hit... I jumped on the thing and landed horribly. So, over on the other side of the world... <laughs> We saw Chuffy the Train activated earlier, thanks to Mumbo. And we'll be able to enter. And inside, we can go into the boiler. Uh-oh! It's old King Cole! That guy that King Jingling was talking about earlier whenever he was a zombie. 
Yep. Oh dear, this guy is quite violent. However, he is the easiest boss in the game. Okay. Here we go. So you see, all he does is walk around. And if you're on one of these higher platforms, he can't reach you. Give him enough hits, and he loses his arm. Which, that doesn't do anything. He can't do his, anything with his arms anyway. Yeah, this is incredibly easy. In fact, later on, there's another kind of egg that you can get. An ice egg. And they do even more damage than these grenade eggs do. And they fire as fast as the fire eggs. Now, the fire eggs, I believe that they actually heal him. If that timer goes down, then you'll be in a constant state of losing air. Which, well, that's about the only threat this guy poses. Also, whenever the place heats up, uh, the floor becomes lava-y and dangerous to touch. Still, this guy is no problem at all. But I do love the music that they get for him. Okay, so now we can use Chuffy the Train. Except we have no place to go with Chuffy the Train. We'll have to go into different worlds and open up the train stations there. Anyway, that's it for this time. Next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, uh, I think I'll be entering the next world. Let me just check on my uh, totals real quick. Let's see here. Missing a Jinjo, missing an empty honeycomb, missing two Jiggies. Yeah, I think we're good in this world. So, until next time, everybody. See you later!